uniqueness that we must overcome. How do we promote innovation and growth, but do so ethically? Sustainable economic growth in the future will require business people, some of whom may be trained here, to ask the question, not only is this profitable, but is this the right way to do business? Would you do me a favor? Would you, if you don't mind me, would you be kind enough to introduce yourself so I know who you are? Sure. My name is Heike Schott, and I teach in political science. Okay. Welcome right. to UMass Boston. Thanks for your words today. I was especially pleased to hear you mention the importance of raising ethical questions when talking about growth and innovation and promoting technology. Um, and I, in particular, was pleased to hear you say we need to ask the question not simply, is this profitable, but is this the right thing to do? Um, and I think those words are especially fitting given the mission and the purpose of TIA CREF, which is to invest to serve the social good and your, your commitment to socially responsible investing. So given these things and how heartened I was by these admirable words, I was hoping you could help me understand um, what seems to me to be a contradiction between this mission and these words that you've spoken today and um, TIA Craft's investment of our retirement funds in companies that perpetuate and profit from Israel's occupation of Palestinian territory. So some of these companies that TIA Craft invests in include Caterpillar, which Israel uses to uses their bulldozers to demolish Palestinian homes. Um, Motorola, which is a company that manufactures the surveillance equipment that Israel uses throughout the checkpoints throughout the West Bank and in, in tandem with its separation wall. Um, Elbit Systems in particular, that's my favorite. Um, Elbit Systems makes the unmanned drones that Israel uses to kill Palestinian civilians in targeted assassinations. Um, the Norwegian Finance Ministry actually recently divested their own pension fund from this company because they found these acts to be so heinous. Um, these are just a few of the examples of, of these companies. Um, I'm standing here today actually not speaking simply for myself, but on behalf of 80 faculty and staff who have signed a letter um, asking TIA CREP to divest their funds from these companies, and um, they have asked me to ask you this question today. So I actually have two questions for you. One is, um, how would you reconcile what seems to be a contradiction between TIA CREP's mission and its socially responsible investing, and then on the other hand, its investment in these companies? My other question is, may I please present you with this letter? Or actually, what's, what this question is all about. Um, this came up. Uh, well, TIA is, I think, the only mutual fund company that has um, an in-person annual meeting. And our most recent annual meeting, a, a group of our participants um, raised this range of issues. I'm not sure if you're, uh, are you, yes. sure you're part of this group. Uh, this group is called, uh, I think it's called Jewish Voices for Peace. Um, and it's a, a, a group of our participants who, as this woman uh, clearly represents, cares passionately about uh, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and is concerned that some of the uh, thousands of companies in which TI Prep has invested um, are providing uh, uh, equipment and other things that you heard from the talk that is allowing the Israelis uh, to continue to um, uh, be involved in, in Palestinian spaces. Um, and the answer to your question, obviously, is we've had a chance to meet with your group. We've taken a look at some of the things that you've talked about. What I've discovered as we've gotten into this issue is across- I'm not a member of JD. I'm sorry? I'm not a member of JDP. I'm no, speaking but, as, a, as a faculty member at U.S. Boston and a TIA craft client. Right. Okay. Um, so, as I was saying, we did go and talk to us, not you personally, but some of the, the individuals that you represent uh, around this issue. Um, what I've discovered as I've gotten into this, because this came up, um, I guess, over the summer, was that we hear a number of different views around this issue. Um, and so I've gotten your petition, I've gotten letters from many other of our members who are saying, wait a minute, whatever you do, don't uh, take actions against uh, that set of companies. So we're in the process of listening closely to what all of our participants say because we have to represent the savings and retirement income of three and a half, three point seven million Americans. As a student, I would like to um, show my support for some of the faculty members who have raised the previous issue here. Um, and as a student, I would like to ask you how you see moving forward using responsible investment techniques as a method of battling what are very large social justice issues in the world, such as the one that's just been brought up. It's been used before in many different ways. Um, so maybe you could just speak to that. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate hearing your views. As I said, I've heard from many others who have different views. Uh, and I'm sure we'll be uh, uh, sorting this out in front of this for some time to come. TIA Prep is also 